What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. I hope everybody had a great weekend and I wanna wish everybody a happy Monday. We are gonna be taking a look at the charts and why I believe there is a huge move lurking in Bitcoin. We'll also take a look at Litecoin. I do wanna remind you guys, there's a free Discord group in the description below the video, totally free. Um, awesome community, if you guys love crypto, you'll love the community, check it out. Also, there's some affiliate links down there that help the channel out tremendously. Um, it helps keep this content free. There's a Bybit link down there. If you sign up, you get a $60 bonus. There's also a Prime XBT link down there that you get a 20% bonus for signing up. Whatever you put in, they'll match it 20%. So definitely check it out. Let's get into the video, see what's going on. All right, guys, as always, I want to start out by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anybody that's doing any trading or investing in this market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research as this market is extremely volatile and risky. Also, keep in mind, it's still a speculative market. Do not put in more than you're willing to lose. So many people do that. Anyways, if you're new here or you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button on the lower right hand side of the screen. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. I do daily updates every single day for you guys. Um, also, take a second out, smash the likes, hit that like button, leave your comments, let me know what you think. Um, do you Are you bullish or bearish? I'm curious to hear where you're at long term and short term. Let me know in the comments below. All right, looking at Bitcoin on the weekly, as you can see, the eight EMA is crossing down below the 21 EMA here on the weekly. Um, we've just started a new week. As you guys know, I've been watching this 55 EMA. I do believe that's gonna hold. Um, this to some people would be bearish, this crossing over, but again, it's the weekly, so we can turn up, and I do believe we're gonna. Um, like I said, the 77, is what I believe needs to hold here if it drops below there I know you got people calling for 74 75 but I think the target's gonna be much lower than that if it breaks which I don't think it's gonna but I could be wrong let's uh let's take a look at the daily I do want to remind you guys also that my wife's webpage is up inkyourimage.com another way to support the channel definitely check it out guys um awesome products in there she's got t-shirts coffee mugs hats beer koozies the signs there's a few different size signs in there definitely check it out if you want anything else on the shirt she can do that too absolutely anything um if you want to get some christmas gifts whatever whatnot check it out and let's get on with it bitcoin on the daily <clears throat> um as you guys know i've been watching this as a big bull flag which i still am here in the green let me thicken the lines on there so you guys can see it. But I'm still looking at this as a big bull flag. And when we break here, I believe it is gonna be huge. Um, if we break the top of this, which right now is right around the 96 to 97 hundred dollar range, um, I will definitely be putting in a huge long. If you guys are into trading, definitely check out the Bybit and the Prime XBT links down below that will uh get you into leverage trading. Be very careful though. Um, leverage trading is extremely dangerous, guys. Um, definitely practice first if you're gonna be doing any trading at all and do your own due diligence. So let's look at where we're at here. Let's look at the worst case scenario. Like I said, that eight EMA is crossing the 21 EMA to the downside, which if that was to play out for the bearish scenario, measured move in the worst case here guys is around the $4,600 range um, the other measured move I have in here would be measuring just a smaller part as a descending triangle and if we brought it down here 6300 so I do believe if we break that 7700 range we're most likely coming down to at least a 6300 um, We've already tested it three times. If we was to come down and test it again and it failed, I believe it would it would start a huge sell-off. 
Um, again, guys, I don't think that's going to happen, but definitely keep an eye on those areas. We're going to look at a couple more targets here. Also, um, we've been watching this triangle here, um, symmetrical triangle, and we came back down and tested it twice for support, and we're getting support off it. Um, we're getting held down by the 8 EMA right now. I do believe we're most likely going to pop up, and I have some targets up here that we'll look at in a second. Let's go into the RSI first in the daily. As you guys know, I've been watching this falling wedge. We popped up out of it, came back down, tested it for support. We're getting support. I also have this line right here, which is support and resistance all the way across. Um, I do believe if we can pop above this um, with, you know, with confidence and close above this, I believe we will be heading up to our higher highs. Again, I do believe we could hit higher highs by the end of the year as long as we don't break that 77. Let me get this out of here. All right, so we were watching this, this falling channel here popped up out of, tested it for support, got support. Came into a rising wedge, fell out of that into a rising channel, and now we have fallen out of that. And the measured move, if we looked at it on the RSI, would say we, we have further down to go. Um, but it's not necessary. Um, but we could drop a little bit further, and we'll take a look at that in the price action. There's still nothing to fear here, in my opinion, guys, and there's a couple more things I want to look at. Um, as you can see, I have this yellow dotted line up here off of these touch points, and what this could be forming here is an inverse head and shoulders. Let me draw it in there for you guys. This would be the left shoulder, this would be the head, right shoulder, and our point of break is going to be around that 89.50 range. Get that out of our way. And the measured move off that, guys, if we break out up here around the 89.50, the measured move off that is going to be, I'm going to put that up here, I didn't have it drawn in here. Yeah. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I'll put a channel in here. All right, sorry about that. And I am going to make these lines a little bit thinner. There we go. All right, and I'll put a t price target up there also. Around the 98.66 range, and that would get us above this top of this flag. And if we get above that, we'll most likely come back down, test it for support, and then go from there. Like I said, I will be putting a big long in here for sure. We break the top of that flag because I do believe we will be headed towards these targets up here. And we'll talk about that if we break the flag. Like I said, I do believe if we break this, we'll probably see new all-time highs this year, in my opinion. All right. So we've looked at the 63 as our low. And again, we have to watch this 7700 range if that breaks then we're going down towards the lower lows. As you can see, I have drawn in here that same triangle where we broke out of here, came back down, tested it for support twice, and I also have these drawn in here. I used this wick, came across for a, um, a fall, it looks more like a falling wedge, and then I did the same over here with this thinner white line coming across here, and both of them are trying to break out right here and the measured move if you use the bigger one with the wider line and I'm not sure which one um, to use I like this one had a lot of touches so the smaller one I like but let's look at the break of the bigger one here and that would get us up to that 8950 range uh, which would be the top of this dotted line which also seems to look like let me clone this real quick um, a lot of people, I guess you could call this a bear flag, which is possible, but, um, you know, that it looked the same back there in December. I don't know if I can get over here. Back in here, the same thing. We, we made the same formation. A lot of people are talking about it, and we continued up because it was bullish. I still believe we're in a parabolic bull run, guys. Um, nothing has changed, in my opinion, on there. I am not... The type to keep changing my mind. I've been saying the same thing since December when I called the bottom, and I do believe we are still in a parabolic bull run. 
And let's do one more measured move, and that will be measuring this right here as a falling wedge, and the measured move out of that, if we were to break up from here, gets us to around the $8,766, $8,800 range again. Move that up a little bit. There we go. So that's where I'm at with Bitcoin. Um, Keep in mind, we could come back down, test the top of this triangle again, and that would be, you know, could be around the $8,100 range, $8,120, somewhere in here. Keep an eye on that. I will put a target in there. If that breaks, then we're most likely headed down to, towards to test the bottom of this triangle, which is going to be around the 78 to 7850 range. Um, if that breaks, then we'll be looking at the 7700 again. And again, guys, we've tested this three times. I believe on the fourth time, if that doesn't hold, it is going to create a massive sell-off. So be aware of that. I do believe we are going to see these numbers up top. Um, but again, I could be wrong. Keep an eye on these. If we break the 8120 range, we're probably headed towards the 7800. If that breaks, watch for the 7700. If that breaks, I will be putting a short in down here. Again, I have my affiliate links down below. Bybit. Um, get a $60 bonus, Prime XBT, get a 20% bonus. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be trading this in the, you know, for the long run. I've, I've been trading it in here. Um, I don't suggest if you're, if you're not familiar with trading to trade in here, but definitely the break of this bull flag, I will be entering along in here with the stop loss just below it. And if we break the 7,700, I will be break entering a short with a stop loss just above that. So let's look at Litecoin. All right, so Litecoin on the daily, been looking at this as a falling wedge. The measured move, if we break up out of this wedge, guys, is the $120 range. Um, that's if we break up out of this. Let's look at the RSI. We've been watching this also as a rising channel came out of it in a falling channel and now it looks like we may be forming a symmetrical triangle or wedge right here so we'll, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that if that breaks up it's going to be a huge move up if this breaks down we're probably going to test the bottom of this again which would be our bearish case um, we'll take a look at the more immediate price action in the four hour and looking at the four hour I don't know what this is right here. Let me get that out of there. I had this rising wedge drawn in here, and actually this is now starting to look more like a rising channel. Let me get this stuff out of here. Um, I didn't get a chance to go over the charts when I got up this morning. I'm running a little late, and I got, as you guys know, I work full-time, so get ready for work, and I wanted to bring you guys a video. So we could come back down, test this one more time before coming up, or continue up. Let me look real quick and see if there's any divergence in this. And there is not as of now. So let's look at the price action. All right, we seem to be in a rising channel here, which could be a bearish formation. We'll take a look at the worst case scenario first, guys, this being a flagpole. And measuring if we were to break down, that would get us to the $34 range. Uh, which would also break us out of the bottom of this descending wedge, which is why I I think that is less likely, but keep an eye on it. And I have these, there's the other bearish target here. Let me get this out of here. Try to keep the charts a little bit clean so you guys watching can see, especially on mobile. All right, so the measured move of the break of this channel would get us down to around the $49 range. And again, guys, if and that's if we break this right around 5550 area. If that breaks down, we're headed towards the 49. If that breaks, then we're headed towards the lower lows. Um, we could get, you know, the, we could get some support here if let me get this on here. We could get some support down here, you know, around the 45, $45 range if we got a huge quick drop we could get support on the bottom of this wedge but again that would 
you know, this wedge is getting to the end. I don't like to see them like that. Usually if it gets that far, it's probably going to break down. But again, change the color. I don't know why I have these green. It should be orange. All right. So anyways, this one also. All right. So anyways, that's the bearish case, guys. The bullish case is we break up from here. And the first measured move of that is if we were to break up from here, um, and most likely that's going to be breaking the 200 EMA on the four hour here, which is around the 6150. If we break that, we're most likely headed up to the $68 range, and that would be breaking this wedge. Um, I like to keep the top of this channel out because if we break this wedge, most likely we're going to come back down, test it for support before continuing up. And then I already pointed out my target of the break of this wedge is around the 120 range. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely click the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. That'll get you subscribed to the channel. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. Smash the likes, guys. Leave your comments. Check out my affiliate links, and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to check out the wife's webpage. See if anything in there um, looks good to you. Anyways, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. I'm out.